Hey guys, I am back with another video. So let's hop into it. Let's see what messages we got for Gemini's. It's gonna be for Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have a Gemini Sun, Moon, or Rising, you can definitely utilize this video. Well, we got turn. All right, so y'all energy is, it seems like it's gonna be a little wild. Let's see what's going on. Let me message for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Coming ahead for Gemini. So if you are new to the channel, guys, be sure to tap in and subscribe if you are new. And if you are returning, welcome back, my loves. All right, so. Yeah, I see someone here being very confident, being a savage, okay? Ruthless, getting what you want. Don't give a, a F. <laughs> Don't hold back, tough skin, confident, badass. Okay, we also have finesse, getting something in a slick way, smoothing things out, still buttering up, persuading, and charm. Okay, what else? All right, and we have cap. <laughs> what they're saying is not true. Becoming someone you're not, lies, bullshit, and faking. Yeah, somebody is being very, 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 like, mm, two-faced. Somebody's being very sneaky. Somebody's using their charm. And they're very confident in it, too. That, like, the, they just morph into this, this different person. Gemini's, this could be you having to do this in order to get something that you want. So let's see. Yeah, it's a lot of extra energy. Okay, you could be calling somebody out on their bullshit as well. This person could feel like you are extremely extra. You're over the top. Something was unnecessary. Okay, so it looks like somebody who is young Okay, you could be younger than someone. You could feel like somebody is just being overly dramatic or it could be vice versa. All right, so let's see what else we need. going on. Nonetheless, I'm seeing lots of, uh, like, drama. Okay, we got ratchet. Okay, so someone, I get it now. We got point of view. You're trying to get your perspective across to somebody, and somebody, um, does not want to see it from your point of view, okay? You could be looking at a situation and you could just feel like, this is, this is ghetto. This is, it's not right. This, this is weird. It's whatever. The other person feels like you could be being dramatic. They could feel, feel like you're being two-faced. You're being sneaky. Um, you're very persuasive. They can feel like they're trying to persuade them into doing something their way. Yeah, and we got turned. Excited, drunk, a state of being wild, acting wildly, drugs, alcohol, sex at a crazy party. So, so things could just really, really get out of hand, like really wild. So somebody's energy here is extremely wild because we got ratchet and we got, we got turn. Okay, there's a, there's a few other indi indicators here as well. But I'm getting like a situation could really get out of hand. A situation could really get out of hand. Okay, I'm, I'm picking it up. So let's, let's see what's what. Let's see what is what. I do feel like a situation might get a little out of control. What does Gemini need to know? Yeah, I see some gossiping. Page of Swords and the Three of Cups. I, I see here some gossiping going on. Some he says, she say. 
you using your intuition. Um, you let your intuition guide you on this. She say, she say. You could, your intuition is telling you that somebody is going to end up having some regrets. I'm picking up a lot of miscommunication. Somebody feeling like you are judgmental or your point of view is not valid to them. Six of Wands. Yeah, I see a lot of people being worried. Okay, I see like a group of people being worried. We got the Six of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the um, the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords energy could be you um, or this person or people could be come off as rude. I'm hearing rude to everybody. That's what it's giving. Some, some, I'm hearing you're always rude to everybody. You could be feeling like this or somebody could be feeling like this about you. Okay, so tell me more. How does this person feel about you, Gemini? Six of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. I'm here and asking for support. Okay, now we got the Knight of Cups and the, and the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody is always coming to you, asking you for something. It could be money. It could be your advice. It could be your energy. And I feel like you're judging, you're judging the situation based on the past. Okay, so you're looking at the situation for what it used to be okay so i'm picking up that somebody asked you for some advice or asked you for some type of something support on a situation and you're looking at like the past history you're looking at the history okay you're not you're not looking at what's you're looking at what happened before okay tell me more about this the six of cups energy Ace of Cups. All right, so the Ace of Cups is here. Could be a water sign, but somebody was. I feel like this person feels like you're. You are very. You feel very emotional. You're very emotionally attached to the situation. You're in your feelings about it. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this person feels like you're in your feelings about the situation. Um, they feel like you want them to be stuck while they're trying to move forward or that they're afraid to move forward because they feel like listening to you, they'll be stuck in the past. Could be a cancer. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, this person is waiting for you to get over. They're waiting for you to get over something. Okay? Waiting for you to get over something. Um... They don't, they no longer look at it from the past. They, they have moved on. They're waiting for you to get over it and move on. Okay. So, or this person feels like they aren't even going to come around. We got the five of pentacles and the three of pentacles. They are not going to come around because they feel like your point of view, you come off as rude and mean and harsh.
Ace of Pentacles. They feel like they got a new opportunity. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. They feel like they got a new opportunity ahead. I feel like they think they do, but they don't. Um, tell me more about this death card here. The four of pentacles. Just wanted to jump. I feel like this person doesn't know that this opportunity that they think that they're getting ready to have is actually going to hold them back in some way, shape, or form. Tell me more about this four of pentacles. This person is going to eventually find out that something that you said was spot on. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the, the Hierophant. Okay, this could be in regards to finances. Maybe this person needs to learn how to save money or work on like their money management skills or it's a, a commitment, a marriage even. Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant is definitely a high level of commitment here. It could be a relationship a marriage that they feel like is holding you back a person uh it could be your finances uh learning how to spend money better you could be trying to give this person advice and they just aren't taking it okay so they're looking at it like you need to get you're judging it based off the past you need to get over it okay so this is this person's mindset and how they're looking at it in their point of view i feel like this person may be a little bit younger than you So they don't want to listen anyways. Like they're they're not even they're gonna make the decision that they want to make. Tell me what is the outcome of this this situation? All right. So we got the sun and the fool and the emperor. I'm hearing a connection is being put on hold for now. Um, so you and this person may decide to put a hold on this connection. We got the hangman here at the bottom of the deck. The nine of wands. Okay. And the two of cups. So this connection may be like put on hold for a while. Because I feel like this person is going to go after their happiness. They're moving forward. There could be an emperor here that they are choosing to move forward with, they're going to take a leap of faith with, and they're happy with their decision. Tell me more about the sun here. Yeah, I feel like this person ends up, I feel like the person that they are chasing after, because I feel like this person is chasing after someone, they're not listening, they're not paying attention to any other signs. I feel like this person is going to end up uh, getting someone who's inconsistent. This person could end up single, but I feel like if they do end up single, then I feel like they may have learned a lesson from the past. And the lesson is to make sure that they're straight always because we got the nine of pentacles here. And I feel like this person is going to come back around to you. Okay. I feel like the advice, they're taking your advice, but they're still making a decision. They're taking bits and pieces of the things that you are uh, giving them. Okay. They're taking bits and pieces of it, utilizing it. So if a situation happens and they can still hear what you're saying in their head. So they're making better decisions little bit by little bit. There's something here that this person isn't ready to let go of. So when it comes to like advice or for some of you, this is like a mother and a daughter, a mother and a son. Um, I'm picking up like the older person and a younger person. This could be work related, um, but I'm just picking up like somebody is going to do what they want to do. 
but they still, your voice of reason still rings in their head, okay? Still rings in their head. So what's the best action that I should take when dealing with this situation? I feel like there's just a miscommunication here. And that's, that's, that could definitely happen, guys. We're currently in retrograde, okay? <laughs> We're currently in retrograde. So some, so some for some, not all, some of you Geminis need to focus. Y'all got better things that you could be focusing on. You could be putting your focus on your health, um, making sure that you're getting checkups, making sure that you're doing your exercise, you're eating right, things to that nature. It's going to be more fulfilling for you. Yeah, we got let go. Spirit is saying let, let that situation go. Let that person learn their lessons and you keep moving forward. And we got perfect time, man. The situation will improve, I feel. Um, this is something that someone that may be near and dear to you have to go through. I feel like this they have to go through their own lessons. Um, I feel like right now, Gemini's, you got better things to focus on. It could be your mental health, your your physical health. You just got better things that you could be doing with your time. You could be going to the gym. You could be doing all of the things that you want to do. I know for some, it may be hard to let this situation go. But this person has already made their decision. And they're happy with the decision that they've made. And they aren't going to see... Uh, the side that you come from until it happens to them or until they are put in a situation to where, you know, they have to use that information that you've, that you've given them. So the situation will improve. You and this person may rekindle, come back around and get, be in a better space. But right now, Spirit is saying to let this situation go for now. All right, so that's the message that I have for Gemini. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Be sure to check the description box, guys. If you click the link in the description box, it will take you to my music channel. And I would love, love, love for you guys to support my music, guys. And like and subscribe over there as well. All right, so until next time, ciao.